It's another beautiful afternoon for baseball on a Sunday at Doug Kingsmore Stadium. Miami goes for the sweep. Clemson tries to snap a skid as the Tigers look for their first victory in conference play in this ACC series opening weekend for the Tigers. Hi, everybody. Welcome in with Marty Clary. Pete Yannity with you. Well, something that's been lacking over the past week for the Clemson team that was evident during a 14-0 start, timely hitting, and I know Monty Lee wants to see his ball club return to that. Yeah, they've got to go hard at the plate now. They're down two games in this first series. They want to turn it around. They're going to have to do that by hitting the baseball and scoring some runs. Miami's playing some of its best baseball of the young season this weekend. It's been on display, both in terms of what they've been getting on the mound and also at the plate. Carson Palmquist was dynamite in his start on Friday night, and the Canes were on the attack early with eight runs over the first four innings. Yeah, they just could put back back hits. They hit timely hits. They scored a bunch of runs, put pressure on the defense the whole time. Miami went on to an 11-4 win, a 10-hit effort on Friday night. Then on Saturday, well, an early home run set the tone. Jacob Burke went downtown, gave them a 1-0 lead in the second. Max Romero, their catcher, had a big two-out, two-run single in the seventh. But really, the arms, the story from the starter through the bullpen for Miami on Saturday. Yeah, Ligon was great over a little five-inning five stint. And then Zeal and Walters came in and closed the door on the Tigers. Lefty dominated Miami lineup to face another Tigers righty. Kafis, a career high matching three hits in Saturday's win. Viegas, the left fielder, Morales Romero. Burke, who's had a solid series. Gonzalez Patelli, who's red hot. Renzo Gonzalez and Mike Rosario flip places from yesterday's lineup in the eight and nine holes. A Miami team that is on a roll coming into this game today, looking to get a fourth ACC win. Tigers left to right in the outfield, Brock Brewer and Grice. On the infield, Wagner, Blackwell, Corbett, and Hawkins. Jonathan French back in at catcher. He started Friday night's game behind the plate. And Nick Clayton, Tigers right-hander, coming off a start last week that the numbers don't bear out that it was all that good. But Monty Lee says he was very solid despite the fact he took the loss and went just four and a third innings against Northeastern. Overall, a guy who's really going to rely on the changeup, the slider, and the sinker. And location, right? He's got to keep these hitters off balance. One thing that we've seen through the series so far as Miami hitters seem pretty comfortable. So we've got to find ways to get them on their front foot, on their back foot, chasing pitches. So Clayton's got his uh, a tough challenge today, uh, but I think Tigers feel confident that he can do the job. Last season, an inning pitched against Miami didn't figure in the decision as the Canes got the sweep down in South Florida. First pitch delivered at 1.03 p.m. And it's a strike to C.J. Kafis. Leadoff hitting first baseman from just outside of West Palm Beach, Florida. And a good looking hitter, as is evident during this series. The guy who is hitting leadoff because he can get on base. That is 25 consecutive games dating back to last season that CJ Kafis has reached safely. See the runners, Kafis, Morales, and Burke. Every other batter is reached here in the opening inning. 0-2. Blackwell. Short way, no. Long way instead. Thought about flipping to second. Knew he wasn't going to get the runner there, but on to first. 6-3 on the putout. Canes leave him loaded in the top half of the first, and the Tigers are coming up. Monty Lee's lineup, very similar to the one we saw Saturday, other than Tyler Corbett now playing second base and Cooper Ingle moving to DH. Ingle off to a fine start this season for the Tigers. Breyer Hawkins bats cleanup. Wagner, Grice, Brewer, French, and J.D. Brock rounded out. Tiger team coming into the ball game, well, on the season, hitting 279, 22 home runs in 18 games. Went on the base pass when they've decided to run this year. Marty, they've been really good. 11 of 11 on stolen bases. Outfield for the Hurricanes. From left to right, Viegas, Burke, and Gonzalez. Infield, Morales, Patelli, Dorian Gonzalez, C.J. Kafis at first base, and Maxwell Romero, very impressive catcher, transferred in from Vanderbilt for this Miami team. And maybe the pitcher with the most upside that we'll see this weekend, Alex McFarlane, third year, grew up in the Virgin Islands. St. Thomas moved to... The Jefferson, Georgia area, just outside of Atlanta, and kind of close to Commerce for his senior year of high school, played at Habersham Central. Out of high school, drafted by the Cardinals in the 25th round, but 
you have to wonder if they waited that long because they had a pretty good feeling he was going to go to college instead. Yeah, you can't waste. You know, it happens both ways. You know, pros do too. They they don't want to waste picks if you're not coming to play. He can touch 99. At least he has during his college career. Stays in the mid 90s with his fastball. Blackwell was waiting for one. High and deep to left and gone. First pitch, leadoff homer, and the Tigers have the lead. Their first of the series. One, two. Second strikeout. First time he's gotten the batter to go down swinging. Ninth place in the order today. 0 for 2 in the game Saturday. One of the six strikeouts by the starting pitcher Nick Hoffman. Rips it. Diving stab. Nice job at second base by Tyler Corbett. Was the DH yesterday. Happy to flash the letter today. Hurricanes go in order in their half of the second. Pitchers love it when they got guys behind them who can pick it. 1-0 Tigers. 1-2 pitch. Left field. Viegas going to let it drop in front of him. Brewer was on the move on contact. He'll come in. Tigers take a 2-0 lead. Blackwell, a 2-for-2 two two start. And he's got both runs batted in. For this season and beyond. And through the right side, a base hit. Engel scores easily. Over to third, Wagner. Throw gets away. He didn't see it, but it allows Grice to move up to second. Tigers have him at second and third. They add another run and a 3-0 advantage. Shortstop Patelli. Tough play. Drops in. It'll get a run home. And over to third goes Grice. Gets away from Romero. Here comes Grice. Throw, mishandled, and the Tigers lead 5-0. A third run in this third inning. Eighth man in the inning to bat for Clemson, Benjamin Blackwell. Right side, fair ball just inside the line. It'll score one, it'll score two. Over to third goes Brock. Blackwell holds it first, his third hit in as many played appearances. Two more batted in. Tigers lead it 7 0. And Romero can't handle that. Another run will score on the wild pitch. It's an 8 0 game. There have been two really impressive starts by Miami pitchers. Nick Hoffman did everything he could yesterday. That was an excellent start by the Tigers' righty. Mac Anglin struggled on Friday night. Little chopper. Stays fair. Run will score, but Hawkins gladly will get the tag for the out. Out number two. Miami's on the board. 8-1 the score as Burke comes across. Middle of the plate. Ripped. Left field. High. Deep. Viegas watches. Gone. A little bit like that. Slider. Middle of the plate. Belt high. And Wagner had just seen one and saw it really well there. Took it deep over left field. Little pause step at third. Team leader in home runs now. That's his fifth. Drives home two more. Getting 17 on the year. Tigers continue with the route. It's 10 to 1. You can see the excitement in the Tigers. They needed this kind of performance so far today. They still need to finish, but you can already see a whole different look on them. Kafis reaching on the air by Corbett. Blackwell almost overran that play as he was heading towards second. Run comes across on the ground out for out number one in the inning. Grounding to the pitcher, striking out and skying to left. Again, a fly ball to left, carrying out and deep and gone. Just kept on going. A little bit of wind blowing out, more towards center. Corbett runs into one. First home run as a Tiger for the Citadel transfer. Well, he caught a slider that was up, and initially it looked like it was just a high fly ball, but my guess is the higher you get above the stadium, the more it blows, and that one just kept carrying. The fielder looked like he was going to 
kept thinking he was going to catch it. He looks like he's on it. Looks like he's on it. Next thing you know, he's out of room. Home run. See your bacon now open late. Tigers have been cleaning up so far through five innings, a 12 2 advantage on the Miami Hurricanes, who came in today looking to get a sweep in their second ACC series of the year. And Clemson in good shape to snap their recent four game skid with Marty Clary, Pete Yannity back with you at Doug Kingsmore Stadium. Other than going the five innings required to qualify for a win, Nick Clayton giving Clemson a good start and the Tiger bats obliging on their end as well. He had the hitters off balance the whole game. He unfortunately had a couple long innings. I think that kind of messed his rhythm up, got behind. And when you lose the first two games, you're a little nervous about that, and you just want to make sure you get this win today. So they went to the bullpen. And Clayton off to a solid start, although in the first inning, a little bit rickety as the bases were loaded. But he was able to work out of a jam. A couple of strikeouts in the early innings kind of set the tone. And then the Tiger bats setting a tone right away. Very first pitch delivered in this ball game by McFarland, the Miami starter was deposited into the left field stands by Benjamin Blackwell. Tigers with single runs in the first couple of innings and a six run third, and that tells a big story in the game. Yeah, they've just come out completely different today and they've been aggressive from the start and they've just been pounding Miami pitchers as they've gotten behind in the strike zone. Max Wagner's blast more prodigious than the one that Blackwell hit to lead off. And then moments ago, Corbett, his first homer as a Clemson player, a towering shot to left that just got out over the wall. And the Tigers, 12 runs on 13 hits, just one error, two runs on three hits, and an error for the Miami Hurricanes through the first five innings of this game. Clemson also trying to snap some recent tough outcomes against the Hurricanes, who swept the series down in Coral Gables last year and came in today having won 16 of the past 21 meeting Looking for his first hit in the series three of his last 25 got in on him but hit pretty well to left and to the wall is Brock and the ball is gone third homer of the year for Morales tightens things up a little bit a three run blast makes it 12 to 5 and his third homer in the past two seasons against Clemson pitching each of those seasons at Dayton ripped by Grice into right field Wagner will head to third Grice is going to try to get two and the ball gets away from the shortstop Patelli Wagner comes home over to third goes Grice and Caden Grice is starting to put things back in the right direction a couple of hits today skied deep to center field way back and gone Opposite field home run for Dylan Brewer. Second of the year. 15 to 5 game. So he had not homered since opening day against Indiana. 2 2. Up the middle. Pitcher got a hand on it. Run will score. Out recorded at first. Five batted in in the game for Blackwell. 16 to 5. Pretty well hit to left. Viegas will watch it. Go out of here. Two homer game for Corbin. Fifth on the day for the Tiger team. And into right center field. That'll get down for a base hit. It'll score a couple more. 20 runs in the game. An eight run, eighth inning. Tigers will get win number 15 on the year against four losses and go to one and two in the conference. Blackwell to second over to first. Second double play of the game for the Tigers and that'll do it. Good way to close it out for the Clemson team and who else but Benjamin Blackwell who was in quite the mode hitting today. Did some nice work in the field. Went in the hole, made a strong throw to Starbuck who got it over to Lewis. And the Clemson Tigers get the first ACC win of the year in resounding fashion. A 20 to 5 triumph against the Miami Hurricanes. They really did everything well today. Fielding, pitching, hitting. 
and none of them were cheap. I mean, they hit a bunch of bombs. They hit a lot of line drives. They had pressure on Miami all game long and a good win for them to close this out. 20 runs, 20 hits, one error for the Tigers, 5-7-3. and three. For Miami, Jackson Lindley gets his fourth win on the year to go to 4-0. and oh. Alex McFarlane taking the loss his first of the season. He's 1-1 one one for Miami. Tigers back at it coming up Tuesday right here against Coastal Carolina in an evening ball game at Doug Kingsmore Stadium. On behalf of Marty Clary and our fine crew, here at Clemson, Pete Kennedy saying so long. Tigers with a huge win, 20-5. This has been a presentation of ESPN.